The metagame component to End of Nations is massive. Everybody can contribute, everybody can play, and their contributions matter to this experience. A global conquest game has sort of been the holy grail of RTS. Thousands of player armies can coordinate for their cause with hundreds of units in any given battle. It's no longer about just winning a match. It's about global domination. Imagine it, it's, it's a game of risk on steroids that everyone in the world competes in and can influence the outcome of. The more you play, the more you start to really care about what's going on at this meta level. The strategic choices matter, and where you're fighting has a big impact on the game world. You can spy on a battle anywhere in the world at any time and deploy your forces to help your friends or turn the tide of battle to your faction's advantage. The best way to get involved in the metagame is to join up with the group. A lot of complementary super weapons and unit abilities and you'll find that you're much more effective. Every territory offers a different strategic advantage. You have to decide what your faction needs for the global effort and coordinate at a high level with other commanders. The level of competition, it's absolutely unprecedented. We allow players to compete in traditional PvP maps up to mega maps where there's over 50 commanders on a map with full armies and then realize that that's just your map. Then imagine that there's a hundred maps of each kind playing, or a thousand maps of each kind playing. You end up having thousands and thousands of people to influence domination of the world. Players stand to gain territory, resources, and technology. And when major campaigns are completed, everyone that has participated shares in the spoils of victory.